Ah, it's you again, and you've come to watch the Retro Tech 120p Challenge. A challenge in which a load of old folks get together on Facebook and play an arcade game with the object of being see how far you can get on two credits, have as many practice goes as you like, but your first recorded run is your run. So this one um, will be uh, continues, um, and I've um, chosen this fellow who's got a lovely little headdress. Um, I chose him because of that, I think. There was a fellow with the blue horse, though, who I had to go with in a practice run. But uh, I decided to go with uh, this flashy-looking fellow with his sword. Um, so, yeah, Dynasty Warriors this is. Yes, I should have mentioned that, shouldn't I? Yeah, Dynasty War. No, it's not Dynasty Warriors. That's the game on the PS2. But it has got a connection. So it's Dynasty Wars. It's by Capcom. Um, and it came out in 1989. It's based on the manga series Heaven and Earth Destroyed, which is in fact based on uh, Lao Gazhong's um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, itself based on the actual historical events of the fall of the Han Dynasty in ancient China. There are so many games based on the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I would count them, but I haven't got the time. Um, it's basically the game equivalent of the Essex Boys movie franchise. I don't know if you know about that, but basically there's many, 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 many films based on the Essex Boys um, story of like loads of men gathering. Uh, who, who, there was a Land Rover and, and an accident and uh, people got murdered. Um, for some reason, um, there's loads and loads of films about it. No idea why. Um, yes, anyway, Dynasty Wars, um, it was... Um, the first of four games in the series by Capcom. Um, it had conversions to the Spectrum, the Commodore 64, the Amstrad, uh, the Amiga and the Atari ST by US Gold in 1990. Um, the real uh, generic Demon, I think, did a video on it recently, on the Commodore 64 version. Um, and it also came out on the PC Engine CD-ROM. Now, um, let's do some genital facts, shall we? And you may have, if you watched the Zupapa video, you may have said we've already done horses, but there is a specific tale I want to talk to you about. Um, it's the tale of US aircraft engineer Kenneth Pinyan and a stallion. And yes, you know where this is headed. Uh, it was the subject of a 2007 documentary movie called Zoo. Mm hmm. You do know where this is going, don't you? Uh, basically, in the town of Unumclaw, there were that's Unumclaw, I think that's what you say. There were a group of gentlemen who exploited um, a little legal loophole after a uh, county law banning or anal sex was repealed. Um, but the trouble is that the law also covered bestial laws, meaning it was completely legal to have sex with animals, as the Bright Sparks who repealed the uh, homosexuality laws forgot to write new ones covering the dodgier aspects of people's sex lives including bestiality and including necrophilia. Oops! Mr Pinyan, who went by the name of Mr Hans uh, when uh, being filmed in Congress uh, with animals, uh, surprised his family by buying a horse in the early 2000s. He'd never shown any interest in equestrianism and well he wasn't interested in riding the horse as such he was interested in the horse riding him yeah he and his group of miscreants including a chap called um, James Michael Tate aka Mr Big Dick uh, that's a brave name to have when you're having sex with horses um, had hundreds of hours of footage of them having sex with horses discovered by local police. Now, why did the local police take an interest in this and discover all these videotapes? Well, they had to investigate someone's death. You see, Kenneth died from acute peritonitis, which is a condition associated with massive trauma to the lower intestine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, quietly after this, the um, Umin Claw, well, not quietly because it gained huge national interest, the Umin Claw laws were changed and um, they sort of fixed that little loophole. So, yeah, there's a fascinating tale. 
an animal parable, if you will. Not really. Not really a parable at all. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of the general facts. Now, um, what have we got coming up on the channel? Uh, we've got... Um, uh, it's not at all connected, really, to uh, what I've just been discussing. But we've got a video based on the Teletubbies this week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a PlayStation Teddy Tubbies game, and I'm going to be um, doing a video on that. So, yeah, uh, look out for that one. Um, I've got, I've basically lined up a load of videos um, because I'm going on holiday very soon, and I'm not going to be near a computer. So uh, I've done a load um, ready for while I'm away. That's smart, isn't it? To be ready. Um, but yeah, back to this uh, Dynasty Wars. Um, well worth having a go. We didn't have many um, people take up the Frenzy Challenge, which is a shame because if you haven't played Frenzy, that game's really good. This is all right. This is okay, I guess. It's um, it's uh, obviously uh, one of very few horseback-based uh, Golden Axe-style hack and slashers, um, but you know it's all right. It's fine. I've, I've played worse. Um, there's not a lot to it. Um, you've got like your magic um, that you can in court you can use, which drains a bit of your energy um, you can hold down the fire button and get bigger swings um, you've got four characters um, it's yeah it, it's 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 quite original but also feels a bit generic to play and that's me dead there um, so please do join in this week we'd love to see you if you've never done a video before now's the time especially if you're uh, into horses just not like Mr. Hands. Um, but yeah, thank you um, for joining me this week. Um, have a look at the other videos. Do join in the challenge. The link will be in the description. And um, yeah, please do take part. We like seeing new people. We like seeing their faces light up when um, they play with horses. You will never defeat us. Well, no, because we died. That's why. Um, I wonder how other people are getting on the challenge. Why don't you go and have a look at their videos too? But until next time, thanks for joining me. Sorry to have disturbed you. And Kay, thanks. Bye.